This is Jeffrey Gettleman for the New York Times in Nairobi, Kenya. Today is election day, and Kenyans have been waiting literally years for this moment. It's the first election since a disastrous one in 2007, when more than a thousand people were killed. We've seen lines that are stretching nearly a mile long. People have gotten up before dawn and were waiting in the cold and blankets and heavy coats. At this polling place, people have been waiting hours in the hot sun to cast their votes. The voting has been going pretty smoothly. It's going a lot better than it had been last time around. There's new digital technology, there's a very organized voting process, and we've heard few complaints so far. There has been some violence. There was an attack this morning in Mombasa, a city along the coast, in which several people were killed, and there were a few bomb attacks in other parts of Kenya, but we haven't heard of anything widespread. But a lot of the reaction is going to depend on who wins. This is going to come down to be a race between two people, Uhuru Kenyatta and Raila Odinga. Mr. Odinga is the Prime Minister, Mr. Kenyatta is the Deputy Prime Minister, and most voters we've talked to have voted for either one. I voted for Raila Odinga. He has been promising to fight corruption for a long time, so I want to give him time to, to fight that corruption. A lot of people said this was a very important election to them personally to participate in. It's important because in many years we've been here and there, we have corruptions and so many things. So I just want to have a better Kenya. We've also talked to people who said that they didn't want to vote along ethnic lines. That's a problem in Kenya that's been a problem for years, where people will vote for the member of their ethnic group. But we've met several people today that were of the same ethnic group and voted for different people. We are not tribalism. We just we stay with some other Kambas, Nguyen's, Kikuyu. Changanika. Yeah. This election is extremely important for Kenya and for Africa as a whole, because Kenya is seen as a role model on the continent. A lot of Africans in other countries look up to Kenya for its democracy, its free press, its level of development. So everybody here is hoping that this will be a fair election, it won't be too violent, and, it, and if that's the case, it will be a huge step forward for Kenya.